Alright guys, in our last tutorial, what we learned how to do is pretty much, well we created a basic tester file named tester file, and inside was just some text, my name is Bucky and I like him, with pretty much everything spelled wrong, and we created a file manager to work with this file, and we pretty much just made a simple test to see if the file existed, but now what we want to do is, you know, kind of mess with this file a little bit, like make a copy of it, show how to rename files right from your program so let's go ahead and do that so like I said the first thing I want to do is show you guys how to make a copy of that file so go ahead and add a little comment make a copy of the file so in order to do this go ahead and add an if statement and go ahead and might as well make your error message right now um ns log cannot copy the file and let's see we're on return two. so check this out if we get this error message we're gonna say return one this one return two. that way if you have like a huge program you can easily see which error message you're getting so anyways the method to do this to make a copy is called copy item and path so you're gonna put in your if block the manager since this is the only object that can mess with our files copy item at path and is your first parameter you write alright what is the file that you want to copy and this is tester file and is your second parameter this is called to path you write alright where is the path you want to copy to or pretty much what do you want the new file name to be so go ahead and press at and just name it new file so what this is going to do is it's going to create a new file in the same directory remember we didn't put it in any other directory like that this is in the same exact directory but this file is going to be called new file so now after this there's one more parameter and this is your error parameter and just go ahead and set this equal to null so all of this is either going to return a yes or a no and if it returns yes it means that it worked if it returns no then we get this error message and it says cannot copy the file so let's go ahead and watch this run in live real time see what happens tester file and bang our new file pops up it copies this file which look at the contents my name is Bucky and I like ham and tester file new file my name is Bucky and I like ham so the same exact contents from one file to another so that is pretty much how you make a copy of one file again you have to use your file object manager and for the first parameter you write what file you want to copy for the second parameter you write where do you want to copy and what's your file going to be and make sure you just put error null equals no now check this out we actually need to delete this file right now because in the next example if I try running this exact same thing again rerunning this code it's gonna say alright well let me go ahead and run it right now I'll show you guys it says if I run it again it says cannot copy the file well what the heck I just ran this program and we're fine why can't I copy it again because when I try to copy it again a file already exists called new file so when you say alright copy this file to this path it says hold on bussy we already have a path called new file so go ahead and delete this move to trash and uh, now I can go ahead and show you the next example so the next example I want to show you is how to rename that copy so once this code runs we're gonna have a file called new file even though we just deleted it so then your boss comes in and he says alright I want you to rename the copy so here's what you do go ahead and make an if statement and let's go ahead and make our error message might as well ns log can not rename the file and let's see we are on return three so even though we spelled that wrong if this pops up then it means we cannot return the file so there actually is no method to rename a file what you need to do is kind of trick our program into doing so so of course we need that manager object to manage the files and this is called move item at path and if you're saying alright Bucky 
you told me we're gonna rename a file you didn't say we're gonna move anything around so what's the deal well check this out you write what file you want to move new file alright and then you write where you want to move it to path alright still we're not renaming anything but check this out we're taking that file and putting it in the same exact folder or same exact directory with a new file name so it was new file now it's new file too and go ahead and as your third parameter error null and if this is exactly equal to no that means something went wrong so check this out we in order to rename a file all we're doing is we're picking up that file putting it in the same path right next to it with a new file name so I mean we aren't actually moving it we're just moving it in the same directory with a new name so in essence it's like just like renaming the file so let's go ahead and run this hopefully I didn't type in the errors and see what I get tester file of course save it and it says new file 2 pretty cool so before your eyes before you could even see it what it did is it took tester file made a new copy called new file and then it took that new file got rid of it moved it in the same path with a new file name new file 2 so we ended up with a tester file and a new file 2 which again has the same contents of tester file so again one last time in order to rename a file there's no method to rename what you need to do is move it or copy it in the same path just with a new file name um, the difference between copy it, it makes actually a duplicate and move it just picks up the old one and moves it somewhere else in this case we just moved it somewhere else and gave it a new file name which only which didn't create any duplicates at all so that's how you rename the copy and there's a ton of other stuff that you can do with files a ton of very helpful stuff and we're going to be talking about that in the next tutorial but for now i'm out of time so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later